Hey everyone, welcome back to Code and Coins. My name is Nora Saha. Today we will go through HTML table from basic all the way to the advanced feature. First, start with what is HTML table. Table are essential for representing data in an organized manner. We can use table for statics, comparison, or just organize the data. Here I have opened index.html in VS Code and also I have output the result. To make a table, we start with table tag a table has table row table column header and data here in this table fruit and color are the table header this apple banana graphs red yellow purple are the table data where the fruit color is the table row apple red is belong to the next table row banana yellow is belong to the next table row that means it has four table row and it has two column all the fruit are belong to the one column where all the color belong to the another column after we write table inside a table we write tr for table rows since there are four rows so i'm gonna copy this copy this and paste it three times the first row is for the header for table header we have to write th then this table header is for fruit and this table header is for color now go to the next row in the next row we have two table data table data for apple table data for red so i'm gonna write td then copy paste then there we have two table data for the third row there is also two table data copy paste there is also another shortcut way of creating this much code let's see how we do that first i'm gonna remove this here i'm gonna use emit which is the base code in build shortcut code so what we want to build we want to build table so I have to write table then inside a table there is a table row then in first table row we have table heading in a first row how many table heading there are there are two table heading now we have to enclose this with bracket now we're done with this first table row now let's write code for this second third and fourth table row since this table row come next to this table row so here i'm gonna use plus sign and bracket in a next line what we need we need table row and each table row has a table data how many table data in each row there are two table data and how many rows there are there are three rows and here you can see it make the same thing if you want to learn about vs code emit shortcut code let me know on the comment section and i will make a separate video on that the first table header is fruit then come color then the first table data is apple then red on next table row we have banana banana color is yellow then grab and purple here you can see since the fruit and a color are table heading so that it is center and it is bold which make it different from the regular table data sometime you need cell that is span multiple rows or multiple column for example one is span over multiple column nine and 3 10 also span over multiple columns and these 2 and n are span over multiple rows so to do this we have to use row span and column span attribute first let's see the example of row span let's design this table first i'm gonna change the header then i'm gonna remove all these table rows while making a table 
we have to note how many maximum table rows there are there are one two three four there are four table rows and one table row we already make so the so there are remaining three table row so I write tr three table rows in a first table row we have one to three June data so the TD has one two three June then we have another TD since this cell is a span over multiple rows so for this cell we have to use row span row span 3 because it is span over 3 rows for our next row there is two cell one is 1 to 3 zone and baseball but we already design 1 to 3 zone cell so we skip this cell and go to the baseball same goes for basketball now here i'm going to use the shortcut code td and if you want to give the table data value you have to use curly braces and what is the value value is basketball and this is how we use row span we use row span if a cell span over multiple rows this cell 1 to 3 june span over multiple rows so here we use row span now let's see the example of call span for this first let's clean up the table how many rows there are there are three rows so i have to write tr asterisk 3 for table header either we can make a separate cell for quarter 1 quarter 2 quarter 3 quarter 4 and yearly total or since from quarter 1 to quarter 4 this is repetitive and just a number is incremented we can write a short code for this and write a separate code for yearly total let's go with the second option so for the first year we have to write tas and i'm going to write the code for the quarter one to quarter four so i have to write q u a year quarter and for the increment number we use dollar sign then how many of the header there are there are four header so i have to write asterisk four then i have to write plus sign for this yearly total plus table heading now come to the next table row in a next table row we have five cell so here i'm gonna use how many cell there are there are five cell but since the 23000 is span over multiple rows so for the 23000 table data we have to use row span attribute for the last row we only need to work for the cell that contain a contain cells from all quarter here we need to give cool span attribute cool span over four column now let's come to the final table for final table we use both row span and a cool span to make this complex table for this let's remove all the table content and count how many rows there are there are one two three four five there are five rows so here i have to write tr five and we have to go row by row while going a row by row in a first row what we have we have one td it need a call span over three column then we need a table data for two which need attribute row span which is span over three rows then we need three td for three and it has a call span of two at last we need td for n and it has a row span then go to the next table row on a next table row we have 
td for 4 td for 5 td for 6 since 2 is already included so we skip 2 and go to 7 td for 7 td for 8 and the n is also included so we go to the next row and the next row we have td for 9 and it is span over multiple column so we use call span attribute which is span over three column then after skip 2 we go to the 10 td for 10 it has the call span attribute which is span over 2 and td for n then on second last we have td for n that is span over 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 column so we use call span 7 and at last we need td for n how many n we need we need 7 n now let's add some css styling so that this table look like this table first i'm gonna remove this border one then make everything small then i'm gonna select table and make a border 3 pixel solid black then add some border for the cell also i'm gonna select table heading table data and make their border one pixel solid black if you see this table around is data there is a padding there is a top padding bottom padding and the right padding so let's add some padding first go with the top padding padding top and make the padding 10 pixel at a bottom padding of 10 pixel then the right padding of 35 pixel if you look at this original table there is a space between the borders so let's add border space border spacing to be 4 pixel and this is how you style the table now let's toss some additional tag we can also use caption on the table for caption we use caption tag by default the caption is on the center and the top of the table rows can also be grouped into three way header group body group and footer group so let's group our table row according to this group so first i'm gonna create new row that has seven table header and its content is col dollar now i'm gonna use here the table heading group then inside here i'm gonna cut this row and paste inside this to make a table heading group then after let's make a table body group then inside a table body copy all of these table rows and paste it inside the table body and then at last for table foot the content of the table foot is similar to the content of the table head just the difference is the table header is on the top where the table footer is on the bottom so i just copy this and paste it here the last feature i would like to talk is the column group we use column group to group the column and style it accordingly we call group after the 
कैप्शन और बिफोर द टेबल हेड सो राम कुना राइट कोल ग्रुप एंड इनसाइड द कोल ग्रुप वी डिफाइन हाउ मेनी कोलम वी वांट टू ग्रुप एंड व्हाट स्टाइल वी वांट टू एड ऑन दैट ग्रुप फॉर इस ग्रुप वी राइट कोल लेट्स ग्रुप टू कोलम सो टू मेक अ टू कोलम ग्रुप वी यूज एट्रिब्यूट स्पेन and the value is 2 and add some styling makes its background color light gray then make another call group with two column and a style background color let's make it this the first call group says it will group all the cell that belong to the or that touches first column or the second column since all of this cell touches the first and second column so this cell belong to the first group and we style them with a light gray background the second call group says it will group all the column that touches third and fourth column so here you can see it will style this cell but it will not style 1 9 and n because 1 9 and n is already belong to the group 1 so if a cell belong to another group already it will not belong to the next group so the cell can only belong to the only one group since 1 touches column 3 it already belong to the group 1 so it will not be belong to the group 2 and same goes for 9 and n i hope i am able to make you understand about html table now it's time for assignment this is not mandatory but if you want to improve your skill and i have some fun learning then i strongly recommend you to do this assignment here in this page it describe all about the assignment i will put the link of this page in the description first it says make a local copy of this three file blank template.html minimal table.css and planet data.txt this is the blank template.html this is the css file and this is the data that you are going to use in the table and if you scroll down here you see the step to complete the assignment after the completion your table should look like this and after you complete your assignment you can put your code inside the code pen or js fizzle or glitch and you can share that link on our discord server on our discord server there you will find youtube assignment and inside assignment there is a channel called submit assignment there you have to provide the link of the assignment and you can also write what you have learned during this assignment and if you found any problem while doing this assignment you can ask question in the assignment help section and this much for this tutorial if you like this video hit a like button subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friend bye bye and i will see you on the next tutorial